In the constant frenzy of student life, amidst all the classes and social interactions, there exists a group at Cal Poly whose efforts often go unnoticed. This group is our custodial staff. They work diligently day in and day out behind the scenes, ensuring that every corner of our campus remains clean and welcoming. Janitors are responsible for keeping all dorm buildings clean. My name is Jaime Aranda. I've been here in this building about almost six years. My name is Nina, and I stand here one month. One month picture does one and two floor. Holden. The whole thing. The, the whole thing. We are a uh, Capaldi campus. Castilians have it. maybe 100, almost 100, 100 coworker. Unfortunately, this means our custodial staff often bear the brunt of reckless actions made by students. Every broken ceiling tile, piece of trash in the hallway, and act of vandalism adds to their workload. These actions may take a toll on our custodial staff, possibly leading to feelings of frustration, exhaustion, and a sense of being overlooked as they work hard to keep our living spaces clean. So that's hard. It makes my job harder. It takes me longer to clean and to keep it up. I feel like some people doesn't appreciate what we do here. Within the history here at Cal Poly, little recognition of our service workers' hard work can be found. And in these scarce instances, custodians often express feelings of disrespect and underappreciation. I feel like nobody respects the custodians. Like, I always talk to them and have conversations with them, and they seem like a little more on the sad side when we have conversations. They're cool people, though. I think that me and the people I surround myself with treat them with respect, but I know that there's some students who don't respect their jobs and like what they do for us. I think it's super disrespectful and really unfortunate that students would do that, and I feel like they could be treated with more respect by the students on campus. A Mustang Daily article dated back to 1989 shares April Carey's personal experiences as a custodian. She describes a large disparity in the recognition she received between her two part-time jobs as a daily newspaper editor and a custodian. April recalls receiving praise and admiration for her contributions as an editor. But there is a sharp contrast in the description of her experiences on her weekend custodial shifts. She cited that nearly all students would avoid speaking and even making eye contact with her. I see a lot of people just ignore the custodians and walk past them without making eye contact or saying hi or thank you, and it really makes me upset. Another article published six years later in the Mustang Daily displays a more positive perception from a custodial staff member. In the interview with Max Morales, he discusses his current role as custodian. Morales highlights some positive interactions with students, some of whom have become close friends one of which became the best man at his wedding. You know, everyone that I know is like really nice to, to the custodians here. We like, there's one named Daniel and he's really nice and everybody likes talking to him, so yeah. While a positive trend appears, Morales conveys the normalcy of vandalized study rooms, littered common areas and food spills unattended. I've seen throw up in the bathrooms um, and no one's cleaned up after themselves. And the trash is, have been overflowed. Sometimes the study rooms have been so messy from everyone being there and they don't clean up after themselves. Just generally being more aware of cleaning up after yourselves would be good. Um, sometimes, like I said, the kitchen is left dirty by people, no one I know. And then sometimes, like one time, there's just like a bunch of throw up in one of the bathroom stalls and whoever did it, you know, didn't clean it up. And so the janitor had to clean it up the next day. So that was kind of disrespectful. I think about the instance I was talking earlier when they like completely, people completely destroyed like the furniture and the curtains of a common room and then the janitors were forced to pick it up. They gather together, study, whatever, then everybody leaves and, and they don't pick up after mm -hmm. themselves. So then they say, when I'm here, I'm picking up trash from underneath the furniture or from, it's not a complaint, it's just what happens, okay? Mm -hmm. From uh, the top of the tables and everything should be at least in the trash, so it's easier for me to pick it up. It is sad to see that even 30 years later, these student behaviors have gone mostly unchanged. Even with students now facing charges for vandalism, attitudes remain indifferent. People get fined for breaking ceiling tiles, but nobody really even cares about it. It's stupid. 
Recognizing and appreciating their work is crucial for fostering a respectful and inclusive community. We must show a greater respect to the custodians who deserve it. I feel like I see them working like long, hard hours. So from what I can tell, yeah, it seems like they put in a lot of work and effort into their jobs. Every single custodian works one building. I feel like that's a lot to get through in one day. It does seem like a lot of work because like, you know, there's so many buildings, there's so many floors. The custodians are always working super hard. And then after more damage happens to our building, they have to work even harder, which is just sad to see. The story of one particular janitor named John Tiedemann exemplifies the transformative power of acknowledging the contributions of these unsung heroes. Tiedemann's experience is a testament to the potential for friendship and genuine connections to flourish between students and custodians. John's connection with his students goes beyond the typical custodian-student dynamic. While not everyone may prioritize similar relationships with custodial staff, it's crucial to show them the respect they deserve. I think it boils down to just gathering a sense of respect, not just for the custodians, but for your neighbors. I mean, this is where we all live. We didn't get a choice. Taking the initiative and acknowledging their efforts, expressing gratitude and fostering real relationships can bridge the gap of respect that has largely persisted at Cal Poly. Every member of Cal Poly plays an equally important role in our overall well-being. The first step in this recognition is getting to know all our employees. A simple greeting and introduction can go a long way in fostering a community with better appreciation and understanding. Also, just remember to clean up after yourself. Daniel, oh, he's such a pleasure to talk to every day. I, even when I wake up, like when he comes in, always good morning, always a little chat. It's always nice to wake up and see such a bright face on campus. Then Nina, actually just today, she made me some, she made me and my roommates some egg tarts and they were really good. They're super sweet and helpful and like always willing to help, especially if you ask for like help in your room or something. They're super willing to accommodate to you. I remember one time, or not just one time, but like a lot of times Daniel will ask like how we are and like, you know, we do the same. We just have a little chat and he's really nice. And like, um, he's also really cool about like sometimes people um, will like, leave the kitchen kind of messy but he's like you know he knows that we're not doing it or like maybe it's someone from another building so he's pretty chill about that these integrated relationships hold immense value the further cultivation of cal poly towards a culture of great respect and appreciation for all workers positively impacts all a reminder that each person serves an integral part of our community and deserves to be valued and appreciated for their contributions so clean up after yourself don't make huge messes and treat each cal poly employee with respect whether it's your professor or your janitor. Thank you. Thank you to the custodians. Thank you to Daniel and Nina. Thank you, Nina. Thank you so much, Lucia, for helping out here. Thank you for cleaning your door. Thank you. 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 Thank you.